guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Celeste Angelica for those of you who are new and I am dressed all warm and cozy and bundled up today because it's freezing outside. I'm tired of winter. I'm ready for a change. I'm ready for summer or at least spring. And I wanted to be cozy for the theme of this video because today's video is all about resetting. So a lot of times in our lives, we get stuck in this day-to-day -day routine where we're doing the same exact things day in and day out. We wake up, we go to school or work, we come home. It's boring, it's unsatisfying, it's not fulfilling. And I personally think that if we all just practice some type of reset routine every now and then, you will come out of it feeling so much more refreshed and prepared for each day. So if you're in a rut and you're just not feeling motivated or confident or inspired or whatever the case may be, hopefully you find this video helpful. So let's get started. So my very first tip is my favorite out of all five, but it might not be the easiest, most accessible tip that I'm giving you guys, depending on you and your personal lives. But my very first tip would be to get out of town. Escape where you are just for a short time. It doesn't have to be a week's vacation. It doesn't have to be half a week, just even a couple days, just a day or two. Just escape your town, your city, wherever you live, and just go somewhere else. It doesn't have to be some luxurious destination vacation. It could literally just be driving to another state if you're in the States, or just hopping to the next town over, or even just going to experience things in your area that you typically don't. So if you live somewhere like I do, there's mountains. Now, I feel like we personally take advantage of how beautiful nature is and how beautiful our world really is. I feel like we take advantage of it all of the time because everywhere I look from where I live, I can see mountains, but how often do I go into them? Not very often. So just anywhere that you can go. If you live by the water, oh my gosh, get to the ocean, get to the lake, wherever it is. I feel like water is such a great medicine for you. I just feel like it cleanses your mind and your soul. Just being able to sit and look out into just depth upon depth of beauty, but also nothingness. I just feel like it's a great place to rest your mind. If you live where there's trees and hills and woods, just anywhere, go explore and get out. If you live in the countryside, get to the city. Try something new. Get out of your comfort zone in a way that will help your mind relax and distract you from your day-to-day -day focuses. I truly, truly believe that nature can be the best remedy and it's just so cleansing for your soul, your spirit, everything. So, highly recommend. Tip number two is also a favorite, and that would be to just take a bath, whether you're male, female, whoever you are. I know there's this whole stigma around bath and spa days and associating it with men, and it's just girly and whatever. It's 2019, let's get over that, let's move past that. Everybody can appreciate a bath. I think that baths are another great place to just let your mind rest. It's just, you're just soaking. If you add some candles, maybe some spa music, maybe some Epsom salts or bath bombs or just anything that makes you feel good, it's just a nice 20 minutes of your night or your morning or whenever to just chill. Not think about anything, not stress about anything, not worry about anything, but just be with yourself in your mind and relax. Tip number three would be to watch TV. This isn't something I would typically recommend for you know a healthy routine. However, this is just a reset routine, something to do every so often just to kind of gather your thoughts and start fresh again the next day. So I think that sometimes watching TV can be a nice escape from reality. And sometimes we do need that as human beings, just a little time for our minds to maybe think about something that's lighthearted, that's not heavy, that isn't about us and our personal lives, and it just kind of distracts us for a moment, and I think that that can be a really good thing as long as it's not done too often or for too long. So I personally obviously really love watching Friends. That's just something I can put on in the background anytime, any day, and it's just so lighthearted and fun. So it's something that I can be paying attention to and listening and using my mind, 
but it's not really requiring any brain work, you know what I mean? And it, it makes me laugh, and I think laughter is the best medicine, of course, as well. So, I love Friends. So, my boyfriend and I have also really been getting into the show Dexter, but we are about six episodes in, and it is crazy. At first, you know, I kind of just pushed it to the side because I was like, this is not the best acting. It's a little far-fetched, a little out there, and just a little too corny. But if you actually give it a chance, it's one of those slow to warm up shows. But the plot behind it is just mind-blowing. It is such an extraordinary idea. It's crazy. So the idea is that it's a serial killer killing serial killers. I'm not gonna go more into depth because I want you to try and give it a watch if you haven't. But it's just insane. When we watch it, we're just like, what? It's just a really interesting storyline. Highly recommend. <laughs> Tip number four to reset your mind would be to actually read a book. This pretty much goes along the same lines as tip number three, watching TV, except I personally do think that it might be a little bit more beneficial for you in the long run if you're reading because reading can never hurt. It's a great, great tool in life that I think everyone should take advantage of. Whether it's fiction, nonfiction, whatever it is, I think it's another great way to escape your reality for a short time and you know, be using your mind for good, but taking a step back and a break from your daily stressors. There's so many great books in the world, magazines, novels, poetry books. There is something for everyone, I truly believe. So if you're someone who doesn't like reading a lot, I really encourage that you try it because nothing bad can come from it. It makes you utilize and practice your everyday language skills. It challenges your mind. It makes you think, it makes you question, it makes you wonder and it also educates you at the same time. So I highly encourage you to read for moments at a time. It doesn't have to be forever. You don't have to read a whole book in a day. Just set aside 10, 15 minutes to stop and read. And my last and final tip for this reset routine for you guys would be to actually try journaling. I've touched on this subject a few times very lightly in the past, but I really, really recommend it. I've been getting more into it a lot. It's productive, it gets things accomplished, it gathers all of your thoughts and your to-dos into one thing that you can look at, it helps you focus, also it prepares you for your future. Something that I've learned about journaling is that you can actually write things down and then you can actually just move on from it. You don't have to look back in the past should you not want to. You just can write it down you know, kind of word vomit and throw all of your words onto a paper and then be done with it and move on to the next day. And I think that that's awesome. So there are a million different kinds of journals that you can do. This is my bullet journal. I put a little 2019 sticker on there and I love it so much. I mean, I'm just in the beginning, but you get to totally design it how you want and just kind of make it pretty and I just really love that about it. So I've been having so much fun with it because it allows me to be creative but also take a step back from life for a moment and just kind of organize and I think that's really great. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this and found it helpful. Please let me know if you did think it was helpful by giving it a big thumbs up and you can also let me know in the comments below. Also, give me some other ideas for self-care Sunday videos that you would like to see from me. I would really like to stick with this series and you know, make something productive and useful and helpful that can guide you guys and maybe make you think in a way that you haven't before and I'm really excited about it for this year. So send me your ideas so I can get things rolling. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You can click the red button down below. It's free, there's nothing to it. You just literally click the button and then you get notified every single time that I post a video. And with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you're having a fabulous Sunday wherever you are in the world. And if it's not Sunday, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.